Hi everybody, it's Melissa. Um, happy Monday, hope it's a great day for you. Um, feels like a Monday here, I won't lie. So, the good thing is, it's almost over, but I have to go to my second job, hence the wet hair, took another shower. Um, I wanted to check in with you today just to give you a recap about my five day crazy sexy challenge. Um, you can check it out in Chris Carr's book. I actually really like the book, it, it gives you some great ideas even if you're not going to go completely vegan, gluten-free, or whatever, so check it out. But she details a 21-day challenge, which I didn't do full 21 days, and I'm the only reason I chose not to do full 21 days is because I'm I'm not going to become vegan. It's not going to happen. Um, I'm not going to go completely gluten-free unless you know, God forbid, I become a celiac, and then I'd have to. But I, I'm just that's not me. Um, so I knew going into it that it was it was a temporary thing and it was just to really just clean up my diet for a few days and kind of reset my eating habits again because ever since I came back from Colorado, I had been relying on convenience. And I, I don't mean like I was driving through McDonald's every day. It just means that I really wasn't taking the time to prep my vegetables, to prep foods for the week. Um, I was relying on things from my freezer, which I don't have bad things in my freezer, but I... I was eating like red meat a couple days a week, more than I typically do, because I eat it maybe once a week or once every two weeks. Um, and I just wasn't eating as much fruits and vegetables, and I, I felt crappy. And, you know, it, it was time to change. It was time to just reset. And um, so I did, and I took Chris Carr's suggestions. I went gluten-free, um, vegan, no coffee, no sugars for um, five days, five straight days. And... I felt pretty good. Um, I, I ended up getting that weird 24 hour bug flu thingy of fever and body aches for a day in there. So I couldn't even tell you if I felt amazing during that. Um, Cause even if you're vegan, having a flu still sucks. So, um, but by the end I felt good. And I, and the funny thing was I really did see some changes in my body. I was, I noticed you know, I wasn't exercising as much because I had gotten sick that week. Um, but my abdominal muscles, like, I actually started seeing some real definition. Um, and um, even if it was water weight or whatever, maybe I was bloated from all the processed foods I had been eating. I, I thought that was great. I mean, it was, it was good for me. And um, so what did I really eat this during those five days? Um, you know, when you start thinking about everything that you have to cut out, you start, it was mostly fruits and vegetables, to be honest. It was a lot of fruits and vegetables. Um, and then I really added a lot of bulk to the diet by adding in beans and legumes and nuts and seeds and all those kind of things to kind of satisfy my body because it needs protein and it needs some fats. Um, I ate like three avocados the whole week which now I'm kind of sick of avocados, I won't lie. Um, probably won't look at another one for a few days. Um, but it was a great way to make my salads hearty and make them really delicious as well. Um, ate a lot of bananas. I ate about seven during the whole week because by the time you add them into smoothies and then you actually eat one, um, ate a lot of those. I ate sweet potatoes for bulk. Um, I love sweet potatoes to begin with, so that wasn't hard for me to transition into that. Um, what did I actually miss? I really missed carbohydrates. And not to say that I sweet potato or banana, but I, I miss pasta. I miss bread. And when you're going gluten-free, I didn't want to go out and buy bread, a gluten-free bread for a whole five days. You know, I was like, I'll just live without it. Um, and, you know, I didn't buy gluten-free pasta because I knew I wasn't going to go gluten-free. I don't need to, as I found out from the diet. And um, so it, that was the thing that I missed the most. I like a hearty breakfast. I like oats. I like peanut butter toast, those kind of things. So that was the thing that I missed the most was my breakfast foods because it was mostly a liquid diet for breakfast with the juices and the smoothies. So how did I end up feeling? Pretty good. I mean, I, 
even with my eating habits not being 100% great, the few weeks leading up to me doing the five day challenge, it wasn't, I didn't feel crazy different. I, I definitely noticed a few changes in my body, as I said, um, but nothing crazy. I just, you know, I, so I, I'm not sure going vegan makes you feel better, at least for me, at least for me, because I'm, you know, let the cow live a very long life and then he can come to my plate later. I mean, that's just my philosophy. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to become vegan because I didn't feel a difference not eating meat or eating dairy. And, um, so there you go. Um, as far as the things that I'll keep going, definitely lots of more fruits and vegetables. I definitely felt more hydrated and I think it was because the bulk of my diet were very water dense foods. So, you know, I think that's wonderful for summer, especially as hot as it's been. Um, juices. I'm going to keep juices. I love them. Um, I do get the energy, the instant energy, the way she says you would. And um, I'm going to try using them as a pre-workout or a pre-run fuel, especially when I wake up early in the morning and I don't want to put anything in my stomach. And instead of putting coffee in, which could dehydrate me, I think a juice would be the best thing. Um, I think I'll watch how much gluten I eat because I know even in people who aren't gluten sensitive or who aren't celiac, that it can have an inflammatory response. And so since I have some skin issues and because I have allergies, I think I'll watch how much I eat, but I'll still probably eat, you know, my breads or my English muffin. Um, I might switch over to completely Ezekiel bread from now on since it has, um, you know, it, it's just a lot better for you with the sprouted grains and having the protein. Other things that I'll do, um, less coffee. I found out I don't really need it all the time, at least all the time. We'll make that point. I do need coffee, just not all the time. So I think, you know, on the weekends, if I'm sleeping in and I don't need that jump start in the morning or, you know, and I'm not craving it, I just won't have it. I'll have a cup of tea or something like that. Um, and I never drank a whole lot of coffee to begin with. So um, I don't think having one cup a day is really going to cause me any harm. Um, actually, they found some studies that say coffee can be good for you. So, I mean, it's, it, it's still the ruling is out whether it's bad or good for you. And for now, if, you know, as long as they don't say it's going to kill me, I will continue drinking it. So I, I know this has been kind of a lengthy vlog. Um, if you do have any questions for me about the five day challenge or what I did or want me to outline it, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions. Or remember, you can get your crazy sexy diet book. I think it's now in paperback, which would be a lot nicer. And you can probably get it on your Kindle, your Nook, whatever. Um, if you want to take a look at it, she does have some great suggestions. Um, go vegan, don't go vegan. Um, just whole foods, always focus on whole foods and do what feels best for you. Cause remember, I'm still working towards my registered dietitian credential. And even when I say I'm a registered dietitian, I wouldn't want to recommend a one size fits all diet to anybody. So make sure you really look into it. Talk to your doctor, talk to a registered dietitian before you make major changes in your diet and make sure that you know, you're getting all the nutrients you need and all the fats and the proteins and the carbohydrates that your body needs to survive. So I had a really fun time doing this challenge. It was great. It really made me think. And um, so I hope you ask a few questions. Otherwise, I'll be back with regular vlogging tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye, guys.